right now, globally, on many fronts, we are literally at a tipping point. I'm not alone in recognizing this. There are people who say this about the land, about fresh water, about energy, but we're certainly there with respect to the ocean. The populations of big fish and other creatures as well are at a stage where if we wait another decade, let alone another 50 years, look at the trends. The big fish from where we were 50 years ago to where we are today, we've lost 90%. Keep going. Where's that, where's that trend going to take us? The Marine Life Protection Act is a process where we can set aside uh, special areas of the California coastline for the future, for, for the long-term benefit of all Californians. So this idea is to take as minimal an impact on our human interaction and create parks that allow us to preserve things so that everyone can enjoy them. Just like we have national parks, we have Yosemite, we want to have these areas that people can come and look and not only be in awe of the beauty, but then ultimately, as a byproduct, if we've got healthy habitat where healthy productivity is happening within all types of creatures, invertebrates, marine mammals, seabirds, and fish, as a result, there will be more fish. It's great to have a marine protected area for the sake of the fish. It's great to have a marine protected area to go play where the water is clear and everything is in good shape where all around it's declining, declining. But mostly it's important to have marine protected areas because it protects the viability of the ocean that is vital for humankind. In California, we really do have a world-class coastline. It's just, it's unique, it's diverse, it's spectacular, and it's like no other. And I, I just feel so lucky that we have this opportunity to protect it for the future, for everyone today.